How about we cut the pack, huh? Welcome to the reveal to Queen of the Masquerade version 2. What you'll need for this is two decks, a red and a blue deck. You need a knife, cocktail stick, some glue. If you haven't got any glue, you can use double side stick tape. Okay, let's let's get to the box. The only thing gimmicked about this box is I cut a window in the side. The rest of the box is fine. Nothing else gimmicked about it. Just an old tatty box I cut. I cut a window in here directly below the R of the air and I took out the C of the cushion okay just cut that window out there um, I'll stop at this border here but you can go to the edge of the box if you want to but there's no need to that's about five mil quarter of an inch something like that okay just cut that out there I'll explain why you need that in a minute right this is a standard red deck of cards. This is a taper deck, also known as a stripper deck. Okay, and that's the only thing gimmicked about this deck. There's 52 cards and the Queen of Spades, which I'll put on one side because she's going to assist me. Okay, so now you need to have the wide part of the stripper towards the spectator and the narrow part towards yourself. So when they choose a card from this red deck, they can choose any card, okay, free choice. Yeah, standard deck, but I'm going to use the Queen of Arts, what I'd used in my performance. And that was a lucky choice. Uh, I didn't know I was going to pick the Queen of Arts, by the way. So we just slide the card in anywhere in the pack here, like so. And you push it in. Now, because the, the wide bits towards you, you can't see the card protruding out because I've held it in dealer's grip, it's hidden by my thumb and these fingers hence why I grab the deck like that because you did seen the card okay, and I'd have been busted straight away so I just grabbed the deck and I flipped it up like so okay and I slid the deck into the box and I'm just going to give you an exposed view now as I slid it in I grab the edges of the, the, the wider card and as I drop the front portion of the deck in you get a glimpse of the chosen card the Queen of Arts that's how it was done I'll just close the box like so so now I know it's the Queen of Arts now let's get back to this cocktail stick you can do what I do if you want to you can cut these glasses out and some mask and um, I just put a few feathers on the top off, I took some feathers off like a bower feather bower I just put a nick down the side of the um, cocktail stick like um, the stem on on darts where you, you can slide your flights in you just slid the glasses in and glued them glued these feathers on okay now there's a reason why I opted for the mask and I'll explain that to you in a minute plus I use it in my routine saying that she was masquerading with a mask just for a bit of fun right what you need is you need a bit of tack a bit of tackiness on this um, um, cocktail stick now at first I did put double side stick tape on and there's a bit of a resistance when you push it into the deck because you use this to push into the deck and it catches on the tape a bit now, so if you do use tape on, you need a little bit of amount of tape and you've got to get the tacky off with your fingers. You don't need too tacky on, you want a little bit of tack. You can use this Elmer's uh, repositional craft glue. Now, it's like pretty stick and you just put it on and it dries like um, texture on a power stick note. Or you can use a bit of spray mount. Now, Hence, you only need a little bit of tack, that's all you need, you don't need a lot because you'll never push the cocktail stick in between the cards like it'll keep sticking, you'll have resistance and you won't look fluid, okay? So I only tacked this bottom edge with the glasses sticking up like that vertical 
Then if you can see with the glasses, the mask sticking up vertical, the tacks on this bottom edge, I know it's on this bottom edge. I ain't got none on the sides because it'll slide into the deck easier and I've got none here. But I ain't saying you can't put none around but you'll, you'll, you'll have to experiment what's easier for you, okay. Now because it's a stripper deck, I'm going to try and see if you can, I don't know if you'll see, but because it's a stripper deck, you'll see the wider card. Now you need to get the cocktail stick in behind the card if you're going to turn the cocktail stick clockwise to make it rise. If you're going front of the card you've got to go anti-clockwise, okay? And that's the only thing gimmicked about this box and deck is this cocktail stick does all the work and hence the stripper deck as well you can you can see the card. So now I went through I went through the process of saying the Queen's gonna whisper in my ear tells me it's the Queen of Hearts yeah I lift up the box and I'll say I'm going to try and get it to rise out the deck using this cocktail stick well I'll set this mask okay I just started turning it clockwise and as you'll see Queen of Hearts rises out of the deck and that's all it is and you can just show them it's a red card any red card Okay, you take the card out, take the mask out, take the deck out, and you can show them that the deck is not gimmicked in any way. And there's no other red card there, and that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeegee. Simple as that. Okay, right, I'm just going to show you one more thing. Put the Queen of Hearts back in, like so. This is just something for a bit of fun. You can miscall a card. I'll put the deck in the right way. Let's make sure I put the deck. I put got the deck in the wrong way. You can miscall a card. By turning the cocktail stick the other way. Now doing it this way, obviously, you ain't gonna say the Queen's told me this is a Queen of Hearts, am you? I'm just going to say this cocktail stick, this um, masquerade mask is going to find your card within this box and you can miscall it, you can you can miscall the card and they can say, you can say there it is a five of hearts and I'm going to say no it's not the five of hearts, it was it was the uh, the five of diamonds, you can say no it's not the five of diamonds it was the queen of hearts and you just, oh, alright then, and you just turn that back and the other one comes up okay that's just for a bit of fun that's just an added bonus but that's how I did the trick right just another thing I'm going to explain to you if you haven't got a stripper deck you can still do the trick okay if you haven't got a stripper deck and I'll tell you how now you'll need a brand new deck of cards you've got a bra brand new so I'll look white on the side in line the deck in line with, with the box now in line with this window here this window here you put a pencil mark along here all the way along the deck pencil mark okay just pencil and it's got to be a clean deck because this will all be white and you'll have a black pencil lying okay so they pick they pick the card you turn the deck now the black pencil lines down here, but it's still here. Okay. Or this side. You get the drift. You'll have one card here with a black dot on it. You slide that into the box. You look through the window and you will see the black dot. And you just pout the cocktail stick through the same. And you can winch the card up or you can clockwise if you go behind the card. If you go in front of the card it's anti-clockwise okay I hope that's fully explained everything and uh, thank you for watching oh and please comment subscribe and like for more reveals